we want to let users place an order by picking items from our menu and adding them to a cart. Now, I already gave you order.swift, containing an order class here with a menu item array, a total int, adding stuff and removing stuff and similar. Um, so we're gonna add items to one of these and then show them in a special order view. But there's a catch. If we're here inside item detail, how can we show items we choose in here in an entirely separate order view? More importantly, how can we make sure these two views stay in sync? As we add an item here, it should also appear here straight away. Well, SwiftUI has a quite brilliant solution called environment objects. And these are objects that our views can use freely, but they don't create or manage. They get created elsewhere in our program and then carry on existing anywhere our views want to use them. Now in this app, we're gonna make an instance of our order when the app launches. There's one order as we launch and then pass that into our content view. And any view that's inside content view, anything that can call the content view its ultimate parent, its ancestor view, will automatically gain access to that same environment object. It'll share the same order data. And even better, when one view changes it, all the other views watching it will update to reflect that change. So, you'll have iDineApp.swift. This is our main app file that shows our initial view here. We're gonna add a property to this, which is at state object var order equals order. And when you do that, Xcode is gonna complain loudly and that's okay, don't worry. So this creates a new order object when our application starts and keeps it alive regardless of what view we show later on. This at state object is a property wrapper. It's responsible for keeping the object alive throughout the life of our application. That's what it does. We wanna pass that thing into the environment for content view so it can read it. And down here is where our uh, content view gets made, down here. We'd modify this to have dot environment object order, which means pass this order object into the environment so content view can start using it as much as it wants to. Now, like I said, this line of code here is making a big error here. Uh, this thing cannot uh, work because it requires order conform to the observable object protocol. What this means is that SwiftUI doesn't understand how its user interface is supposed to watch this order. Like we've said, when this changes here, change all the other views watching it. But SwiftUI doesn't understand how to watch order, doesn't know what it means to watch order. What am I watching for? How should I watch it? Yeah, it's, it's hard. Now, if you think about it a little bit, if we select some food from the menu and we add it to our order, we want that to appear immediately in our order page. The order summary page showing what we've ordered so far should now say, yep, you've ordered some pancakes, for example. We don't want to hit refresh. We want to wait a few seconds. We want to just bang, it's just there, right? And for that, SwiftUI needs a standard way to know how to watch objects. How to say, oh, this one's changed, update all the UI that depends on this thing. And so it's gonna have a way of saying, hey, if anyone's watching me, this order, be aware my data's changed. Reload yourself to refresh and, and show any changes. Well, uh, this standard way already exists and it's mentioned right here. It is the observable object protocol. Anything that conforms to observable object, SwiftUI knows how to watch. It can be used inside SwiftUI and it will publish announcements when its values change. So the UI can be refreshed. Yes, I've changed, whatever. Now Apple provides a number of ways of saying, yes, my data has changed. Yes, reload the UI. But the easiest one is another property wrapper called at published. Uh, and you can put this before any properties that should trigger change notifications. Because not all of them will. You know, your object might have some private properties that just, you know, for itself to handle its data, don't refresh the UI when these change, doesn't matter. But this one, this affects the UI, refresh it when this one changes. And so, in order.swift, we're gonna say this thing, items, 
this matters. When that changes, refresh the UI. So I'll say your var items published, that are, you are at published var items, published with a D. Which means when this thing changes in any way, new array, add an item, insert an item, remove an item, whatever, announce it to anyone that's watching. And now we can make our order class conform to the observable object protocol by just doing colon observable object. That's it. That's all it takes. And our code will now compile cleanly again. So in total, we have told observable object how to announce changes. Yes, I can be observed by SwiftUI. And we've said, yes, when this items array changes, trigger a change announcement. Tell other views to refresh yourself and, and change. And then we've made one of these inside our main application here, taught to stay alive, and injected it into our environment, ready for content view to use.